I know you see it, you know, look at me, look look at me posting, man, look at me being inspirational, man. Hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> yeah, you see it? <laughs> no, but I know, I know I was, um, I know, I know I was what? Uh, what was I gonna say, bro? How did I forget that fast? <laughs> I know I've been inconsistent. Unconsistent. <laughs> I know I've been inconsistent with these posts. You know, I posted like two tutorials back to back, and they they did fine. Like they did good. Like look at these, bro. Just look at the numbers. Let me let me just say this. It it ain't about the it ain't about the numbers. It's about actually having fun while editing, and being happy and uh wanting people to learn more about editing stop the cap all right so we let, let's just get started i've been talking for too much actually before i say anything look at my date is february 10th what does that mean nothing but in like four days it's finna be Valentine's Day, but since I don't got a Valentine's, let me hit y'all with a pickup line, you know what I'm saying? You know, I already know some ladies gonna be watching my videos, so. <clears throat> Are you Lightning McQueen? Because I can make you my queen. Oh, baby, nah, that ain't gonna work. Alright, first thing you're gonna do, new composition, start a new project. What was it? Bro, what was the title of the video? How did I forget that fast? <laughs> I know my screen is way different than like your After Effects, but that's cool. Like that's fine. It's completely fine. It's not gonna ruin anything. Okay. First thing you can need is a picture with the tower. I'm only gonna add like two cubes. You can add three if you want, but I'm only I'm only gonna add two. Oh, oh. my bad. My bad. Nine point five million. I don't know. I like this picture. It's not loading. Okay. No, I don't like that. Alright, first thing you do is import your pictures. Alright, once you got your pictures, make sure to uh, scale them down to a square. Because if you don't, it's going to be weird. So, scale them down like that. Alright, then uh, you're going to want to go to layer and make a solid. So, um, now what you want to do is go to effects and presets and type in element. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but um, you need the 3D element plugin to be able to use element, you know. So if you don't have it, then try and go get it. I don't know where to find it. Um, I know this tutorial is on YouTube, but be careful because you can get a virus. And if you're scared about getting the virus and stuff, but you want 3D element, then um, comment down below and I'll try and make a tutorial on how to get it. All right, once you're on here. You're gonna go to custom layers and then custom texture maps. And for layer one, you're gonna put the picture. Okay, let's let's name them. We're just gonna name this first pick, second pick. All right. Um, for layer one, we're gonna put first pick, and then layer two, we're gonna put second pick. If you, if you want three cubes, then you're gonna have three pictures, right? And then right here, you just put the third one, which is gonna be fourth because you got the black solid on. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't. <laughs> Once you got all that done, we're gonna go and press on scene setup. Um, you should have something like this. Now, to make it, you go over here on create, and we're gonna have to make a cube. So make a cube, and we got this little little cube. Uh, go to normal size and just just scale it up. Now we got this right. Um, I guess we can just keep the cube like that. We can move some of these things if you don't like them. Okay, now um, we're gonna want to make another cube. We can't just duplicate it because if you duplicate, it, it's weird. I don't know, but like. 
the same picture that's attached to this is also gonna be on the other one but he, so you don't want that so just make another cube you know okay so now you got two cubes in this right um you're gonna want to get the first one and just raise it up and then get the the, the one on the bottom brace it uh put it down make, you see this line right here make sure there's some space right there so like that and then we gonna make it like that okay once you got this we're going to uh go over to create and we're gonna make let's just make another cube <laughs> we're gonna make another cube um and then normal size but for this one we're just gonna we're gonna change the size you see right here um ciao. change this size to about like i don't know something you like something like that and then just scale it up a little bit more so it could be like that um i want it a little bit skinnier something like this now you got this right now get the now get this little flat thingy this floor and duplicate it and just raise it up so it's gonna be like that and then go to the bottom one and then duplicate again oh and then just drag it down drag it down like this now um well we, we're gonna go over to presets and then go to physical and this is where you're going to i guess paint them you can set them to whatever i like when i make towers i like to make them out of glass i just put glass on them on these um and then just let's just change the color should i change it too go to this cube which is the floors click this arrow and then go to glass and then scroll down so you see reflection and then change the reflection i don't like how this looks so we're gonna go to basic settings and also change this to like a orange that didn't work okay <laughs> so we're gonna go to reflectivity and then just change this to orange as well boom I don't, mm, this is all right um and i'm kind of dumb for this because now i gotta do the same thing to these two when i could have just made it on one and just duplicated i can't think of mom oh my god oh my god oh my god oh no <laughs> go back into this um and then you, to these cubes which one you want at the bottom it should be the second picture so go click on this arrow go to default and then for textures diffuse go right here and then change uh put the second one sometimes it doesn't show but it's there trust me it's there so don't worry about that it's there now go to the other one which is the first box i don't know why i went from second to first but do the same thing go to diffuse click on this and then click on first and boom just like that if we press okay watch this watch this watch this yes, yes sir yes sir wait why is this gold what the fuck bro what is wrong with me oh my god i'm gonna just i'm gonna just put yellow what the heck bro all right so i ch i changed it to metal so all right so once you got a skill like this we gotta animate it now uh so it's gonna be like so you gotta zoom it in like this and then uh with the world position when it's put this up like this and then set a keyframe you set a keyframe by uh clicking on this little um timer okay and then also go to rotation and we're gonna go with y because it's also gonna spin when we go down the press on y uh to make a keyframe and then press this and then press on u to bring up your keyframes we're gonna go over a little bit to the front you know what i'm saying and then for world position we're gonna uh bring it down like this to the second picture and then for y rotation we're gonna rotate it like how much do we want to rotate it i'll say right there i guess so basically 180 i'm just talking 180 okay so now highlight these keyframes and press f9 on your keyboard or just go right click key from assistant and easy is the same thing now we're gonna go over to the graph editor go to y rotation and we're gonna use this graph it's really it's a smooth graph i use this all the time so if you if you're looking for my graphs this is one of them so just like this um and then go to world position as you can see you we can't do this um that's why i got this right here because it's way easier i haven't used this in like months but the way to pass is this right just right clicking here and change it changing it to speed graph and you're just gonna have this and i guess just do it like this 
and if we play it we should get something like boom something like that you know now to make it better because this this doesn't look smooth right it doesn't right well it does but it can make it look better if you add motion blur so click on this little blue thing oh it turns blue once you click on it and then click on and then if we play it it looks a little bit better i guess but the motion blur is kind of like low so what we do is go to over here go to render settings go to motion blur and change the motion blur to um i'm gonna change i always change it to 15 and then boom now what we gotta do is bring it back up to make it as smooth as possible we're gonna make a null right here create a null now go to press p on your keyboard for position and press r for rotation we gonna have this press u to bring up both of your thingies i guess all right so then go a little bit over here i guess and then for position we can put it back up and then rotation we rotated 180 i guess again okay and then we're gonna do the same thing so highlight these f9 go to the graph editor um only select one i'm gonna go to value graph and then just change it to the graph i gave you earlier so it's gonna be something like this and then go to position now since we're on a null we can do it differently now what we can do is right click on here and then separate dimensions as you can see these are straight because you didn't use these okay, so since we only use y position we don't need these so let's just take these off and go to y position and then just, as you can see we can do the keyframe now well, i mean we can do the graph now so something like this and then if we play it boom boom um and just like that you got this transition Oh, not transition but it's a little thing it's, it's, it's really smooth right 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 yes all right so then we can pre-compose this if you want and then we can add a zoom in right here we can add a scale right here so going in f9 boom boom to end it all off I like to do a fish eye warp in, I guess. Um, so we're gonna do that. Go to fix the presets and type in warp. It's right here, so uh, just drag it and put it right there. We're gonna have this, you're gonna be like, hey, yo, what the hell is going on? But it's fine, just go to warp style um, and then go to fish eye for the bend. Change it to zero, make a keyframe, press U on your keyboard. And then we're gonna go to the very last, or oh, we can go right there. And then just make it negative 100. And then for the keyframe, just put it all the way to the end. And now we're going to have this, right? Select both of these, F9. And then go to Graph Editor and copy my graph. I'm going to do it like this. Usually they're like this, but I'm going to make it like this so it can be like a little bubble. You see? And I'm going to tilt it a little bit so at the end, it zooms in like more, you know? And just like that, as you can see, it's really smooth. Now you can add different types of things. Like you can add turbulence, you can add uh, edge rays. You can also add like a, a duplicated layer behind, but just scaled up really big. And then just go and add tint. And make it black and white if you want. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, if you guys like wanna know more, want to learn more want more tutorials make sure to, uh uh comment some down below because okay this is making me dizzy let me stop it make sure to comment them down below because i don't know which you guys want like i can make super advanced tutorials or super like chill like beginner videos tutorials i guess whatever you want to call them but just let me know um also like the video like it doesn't like it's free you know like it's free just like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed because i don't think there's many channels out here just like doing actual voiceovers they usually have like little text thingies where you have to read them and ain't nobody got time for that so yeah definitely that would mean a lot I mean, will keep me motivated for sure yeah I, I guess i'll see you guys next time i'll try and be more consistent but just let me know what you guys want so um yeah doses going on out here, man? Rich gang, no bang. You heard this? Me and my motherfucking boyfriend. What the fuck, nigga? You gay? <laughs>